Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In my previous video, well, we talked about Russian birch, how it's not really available here in the States that much anymore. And we're gonna talk about that here in just a second. Also, eucalyptus ply was gonna be my, well, my go-to for a replacement. And it works great, but there's something about this I didn't realize that I had a ton of people reach out to me about. Also, questions about apple ply, finished ply, bamboo plywood, all that's gonna be discussed in this video. Hopefully you get something out of it, so let's dive right in. Okay, first let's talk about something, elephant in the room, about why I was avoiding talking about the conflict in the world between Russia and Ukraine, and why Baltic birch, Russian birch, isn't really available here anymore. Well, here's the deal, okay? We as content creators are essentially independent contractors with Google, all right? And they have certain rules and guidelines we gotta follow just like any job. You guys probably earn a living, right? I would assume. And there are certain things you can and can't do within that job, right? No different here. And they have asked out of respect that we don't necessarily make videos about this conflict um, and expect to have them monetized because so many have suffered due to it, right? I'm not a news channel. I'm not gonna bring a bunch of information into this channel over that conflict. And I don't want to essentially have my livelihood you know, taken away on specific videos because I am bringing to light things that are about that conflict. Simple as that, that's all I'm doing. I'm essentially listening to my boss, even though I technically work for myself, but yes, I do work for Google and I work for you guys too, okay, essentially. All right, that out of the way, <laughs> moving on to the plywood. Okay, first order of business, we're gonna talk about this eucalyptus stuff. I actually love this. I think it's unbelievably great. I love the look, I love how it is, okay? Um, I may not be using it though in my next few iterations because a lot of people, and I mean a lot, when I say a lot, I mean about 30 or 40 people have reached out to me about this being extremely, well, I guess allergenic. Puts people in the hospital, the, the fumes, the sawdust, whatever you might wanna call it. Um, and I'm just not comfortable with that. So, and there's also that phrase, and that is a problem that you have is a problem at scale, right? So if 35 people have reached out, how many others are not? So I don't know, I'm, I'm weary about using a product that I sell that could cause allergic reactions. I mean, it's just the way it is, especially that I know about them and I, I wouldn't be, well, I wouldn't be very honest if I didn't tell you about it. I didn't know before, but I know now. So there've been other options brought to my attention through that last video. First one being apple plywood. I'm gonna post this right here. Yeah. Um, you can basically tell by this statement that the company that makes apple ply, they're no longer taking any more orders. Um, they are, I guess, packed to the gills with their suppliers. Even my supplier here in Jacksonville, Florida, um, has reached out and told them the same thing. Even though you're a dealer, um, we're not taking any more new orders. And even if we did, you'd probably have to price it upwards of $200 a sheet for the consumer. I'm still a consumer uh, at that point. Um, and I'm not, $200 per sheet is just too much. I would have to raise my prices to make a living. I don't wanna do that. So there's a couple more options. One is bamboo plywood. Now I've contacted Cali Bamboo. I'm getting some samples in. Um, it's relatively expensive as well, but it's got a cool different effect. Uh, it's such a neat looking product. You can see here, I'll put a couple of images up. Imagine this stuff with some of the tool holders that I make, it'd be pretty nice. Uh, but if I do get that, it may be something to get as an alternative um, in addition to what I'm making out of standard plywood because of the price increase as well. Um, maybe I'll do a limited edition of some bamboo stuff. I mean, who knows? Uh, but it's not real sustainable for this business model. Um, another option that was offered or, or talked up was finished plywood. Um, and I am having a hard time locating any of this. Uh, for whatever reason, I've done an internet search. I've done some asking around. Um, if anybody has any information on finished plywood, I would love to know it uh, in more detail and put that down in the comments, please. So here's the deal. I still have a fairly large stack of 24 by 24 inch Baltic or Russian birds that I am using for my products. So I'm gonna use that, I'm gonna exhaust that. But in the meantime, instead of using something I thought was great, but actually has some allergenic properties to it, I'm going to just basically search how, far and wide for more Russian birds that's in this country still. Um, I know that there are places that have it. People have told me, hey, I live in Oregon, it's available. I live up in New Jersey, I've seen some. 
Um, and so I'm going to be looking far and wide and I may travel to get some and it's worth it for, for me to do that. Uh, and the second thing is, is that my dealer actually has half inch Baltic still readily available, but none of my processes are in half inch. It's all in three quarter. So there is that possibility that I just change this over to half inch plywood. Would it be that big a deal? Mm, yeah, it would for me because I would have to reprogram everything and that's fine because I gotta stay in business. I gotta feed those, that, that family of mine in there. Um, but the second thing is, is that, is it gonna be any weaker? I don't really think so. I think half inch plywood is probably plenty strong uh, for what I'm doing. And uh, I may end up doing that as well, so I don't know, all right? So I'm gonna talk to you about one other aspect of this business that's pretty interesting, and here we go. And that aspect has been some of the wonderful responses that we've gotten, especially from doing a small charitable event that we did for a young girl named Kayla who was an artist. Not a lot of people watch that video, but we ended up raising around $2,200 for her as an artist who I wanted to prove to her that her art was worth something. Um, that video is a few videos back in the channel. I'll actually link it below if you want to check it out. We did a run of some special stuff that she had redesigned my logo. And the long story short of it is, is that this channel and this business has opened my eyes um, to where I, I want to use this for, you know, for good, for other than just supporting us. Um, you might see behind me is a laser. This is a Laguna. I don't even know the brand. I, I know the brand is Laguna. 100 watt. It can, it, it's bed is exactly the same size as my CNC. So the reason I got it because I want to try doing some other products and some other things. And one of the ones I want to do with this is, well, another fundraiser here in the next few months. Be on the lookout. Um, I've reached out to the Remember the 22, which is basically a a, a really awesome charity about the 22 veterans in our country that take their lives every day. So uh, I want to do something for those guys and gals. I think uh, the people who put their lives on the line for us and the freedoms that we have are extremely important. And so this is going to help me somehow. I'm going to show you once I get it up and running. And this is potentially going to help me do that fundraiser. And I can't wait to do it. And that's the other aspect of this business that I absolutely love is that I want to transform and move some of this into doing things for the greater good. And I think that's, it's just a calling that I have. And I'll, I'm so happy that this, this community came together and did the first event the way you did. And I think we're gonna be able to maybe establish a glimpse inside foundation that is nonprofit that we can then take things that I'm designing or moving or doing special editions of things and giving the causes um, basically because you guys are generous as well. So that's it. Hopefully this answered all of your questions about the plywood, except that finished ply. If you've got any ideas about that or, or, or recommendations, put that in the comments, please. Um, but moving forward, like I said, I'm gonna do everything I can, everything I can to try to source some more of this really high quality stuff. And uh, I will always keep you guys surprised and be very transparent with what we're doing over here. And I appreciate you watching. So until the next video, I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.